so much because I was feeling uh, a challenge there. a bit uncomfortable because I, I came here so early, Honorable Speaker. But nevertheless, thank you so much, Speaker. Uh, <clears throat> but the border, first I would like to thank my sister, who is also my neighbor, and quite a very able MP uh, from Chaso South, for bringing up, highlighting issues that affect our border border, Honorable Speaker. But a border industry is a very, very key industry indeed because it accounts for a very huge uh, transactions financially in this country. These are people who are always uh, used when uh, people feel that they want to achieve their own interests, but immediately after that, they are left to rot. These are the same people who help us, Honorable Speaker, during campaign times, during mobilization of our rallies, during, if we want to disseminate information to the people, these are the people who help us. But the borders also play a very key role, Honorable Speaker. Down in the villages, there are also security by themselves. We've seen, they've tried to help us, even people who steal, thieves, who have been lynched by this border border. Of, of course, I believe in the rule of law, but at times, uh, People who live by fire, they must also be extincted by fire, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, it is so sad, very, very, very sad, what is happening lately in this industry. These young men and uh, sometimes also women are losing their lives terribly, Honorable Speaker. And on this, I want to urge our security apparatus don't just focus on Changa and Busa in the village. Don't just uh, focus on small things that don't make sense in the village, Honorable Speaker. We want you to come and instill security and the villagers security in our towns, Honorable Speaker. The security agencies are now focusing on things that don't matter. And I wish uh, the ma majority leader who at, at times speaks carelessly when he was telling most of us yesterday that our members are not here. I wish he was also here so that he takes this to the government. Honorable Member, William Ruto, don't that, address a person who is not in the house and cannot defend himself. Proceed. But he was also addressing uh, members who are not in the house yesterday, Honorable Speaker, that they must tell this government to prioritize security matters. They must tell the government to protect these young people who are losing their lives every day, Honorable Speaker. That they must stop hitting people who are demonstrating for their rights. They must direct those guns. They must direct those bullets. They must direct those cannons to the real culprits. People who are robbing innocent Kenyans of their lives, Honorable Speaker. I want the Minister for Interior to refocus his energies to sit down with his people, to, to ask themselves if they are doing justice to this country. The might with which they land on people who are demonstrating a constitutionally, Honorable Speaker, is, is amazing. That is the might we want them to land on these thieves, on these killers, on these, on these, on these drug peddlers who are killing our innocent young men uh, and, uh, and women, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Emase, it is indeed a very good motion you've brought. And it should not end here. We should move and demand for answers from this government. We should move and demand action from this government. Our young men and women are dying and are dying very badly. Shame on the security system of this country. Shame on this government that cannot help their people. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I support Honorable Emase. Indeed, wewe unaweza. Thank you so much. The Honorable David Kiplagatsoi. Not in the house. The Honorable Peter Kihungi. Kangema. Oh, then we should have the Honorable Makali. 